Michael White, one of the tour guides, shares with us the secrets of Ely Cathedral. The parts of it that you'd easily overlook and that most people don't even know are there. This is the prior's door, a very elegant door um, built around 1135, we think. It, it's at the very sacred boundary of the monastery and the rough and tumble of the world outside. And we think that it's Jesus warning us to be careful of that rough and tumble. And here it seems to concentrate on the lighter side of life. Is that a kiss? Is that somebody drinking? That's certainly a man playing a harp. And at the base you can see two little men in a boat rowing in opposite directions. Perhaps an example of modern management around and round in circles. This is one of my favourite spaces in Ely Cathedral. The atmosphere is absolutely tremendous. It's the Lady Chapel. Built for the worship of the Virgin Mary, it's probably one of the very largest of the Lady Chapels in Britain. It's 100 feet long, 46 feet wide. The idea was that pilgrims would come here for a final service. They would be surrounded as if in the anteroom to heaven with 147 statues. It was damaged because once the Reformation had occurred, the Protestant religion had begun, saints, statues, pictures of the saints in the windows were thought to be idolatrous and inappropriate. So they were smashed, and all these statues of the saints that you can see have had their heads removed. One of the curious features about the Lady Chapel, it has some elements of previous religions, previous beliefs. One element just up here is a figure of a green man. You can see the tendril of ivy coming out of his mouth. He seems to represent the force of the forest. It's some kind of ancient belief in the vigor of life, but it does seem rather strange that all the statues around us have lost their heads, but our green man is still quite untouched. This is a wonderful light space now. But in the Middle Ages, with the stained glass all around, was probably quite subdued. The piece of stained glass behind me are really remnants um, that were gathered together in one place to give an impression of what the whole chapel might have looked like if all the glass had remained. It's remarkable stained glass in that it contains pictures of ordinary folk, peasants with their hoods and their pointy shoes, and armed men in armour which has been dated to almost exactly 1325. I'm sitting in one of the alcoves of the Lady Chapel and above me there's a little stone joke. There's a smiley man but if you manage to look up and up the back of him he's a miserable man. The face is a miserable one. One of the virtues of this great, huge, enclosed space is the acoustics that they created. If I clap, you can hear that the, the echo lasts for something like seven seconds. This makes it ideal for particularly unaccompanied choirs who positively cue up to sing in Our Lady Chapel because the effect of their singing is so enhanced in such a magical way.